somebody has a celebration today, and I don't know if that person is you. But I'm talking about that person who is facing danger. That person who is almost killed, whose appointment is about to be terminated. Somebody that has gotten to the last rung of the ladder and there is nowhere else to go. The one that is locked up in prison. The one to whom the pronouncement of condemnation has already come or is about to come upon you. And you are shouting, Lord, where are you? Today, the Lord is coming in your direction. I am talking about that person whose situation is so horrible that there is just no way out. The danger is facing you squarely in the face. You're already in the pit of fire. They are not just about throwing you in. They are throwing you in. I'm even talking about that person that they're about to throw into fire. The person that the family has rejected. The person that everybody has shunned. The person that is no longer needed anyway. The person whose situation is desperate and very, very dangerous. I am talking to that person. That's the person that I say should praise the Lord. And we are going to read Romans chapter 8, verse 31. Romans 8, 31. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for us, who can be against us? This is one scripture we heard over and over and over and over again. So many of us say it. But the import of it, does it come to you? Whether it does come or not, but today is a special word. I don't know if it is you that I am addressing, but I'm addressing someone. And my desire is that that someone is you. What is that situation of your life? That the devil had already made a pronouncement. That the others have made the pronouncement. It may not necessarily be that you saw the devil himself. He walks through human beings. He walks through circumstances and situations of life. But the situation is such that you are in danger. The situation is such that you are being deprived of what you should have gotten or you are about to be deprived. The situation is such that your supply is about to be cut off. See, the situation is such that you have experienced the kind of thing that you didn't expect to experience in life and you are not feeling happy, even in the state that you are in. You know that some of us who go through life, you are going through that situation, you say, well, what can I do? That thing is going to change today. If God be for you, that thing cannot be against you. That same thing that is meant to bring you down is going to bring you up. That same thing that looks to you like a disadvantage is going to turn to your advantage. That same situation that looks like you will never hit your destiny is fast-forwarding your steps into achieving the best of life, the best of the best. There is a growth for you for, because God is for you. Are you a child of God? You know the scripture says, the eyes of God rove to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose hearts are loyal to him. Is your heart loyal to God? Today you can be sure that he's going to stand up for you. Who can be against you? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were carried to be thrown into fire. And they say, our God will be for us. The fire cannot be against us. You king, you cannot be against us. Your soldiers here and your workers, none of them can be against us. And they carried them, threw them into fire. Nothing touched them. No harm came to them. And they came out triumphant. You are going to come out triumphant. You know what the word of God says? Who decrees a thing and it comes to pass except the Lord himself has decreed it. That pronouncement upon you, is it God that pronounced it? But let's even assume that God was the one that pronounced it. You can go back to God in repentance. And he will reverse all things to you. God cannot be against you. Except you decide to go against God. He leaves you to the rewards of those who are disobedient. Not that he comes out to punish you. There will be ultimate punishment. And yet again, it will be a result of your disobedience. Not of God. God does not generate trouble for anybody. Except the person walks into his own trouble. Who can be against you? Is it your family that has rejected you? They cannot be against you. Because as the scripture says, everyone that rises against you shall fall down for your sake. And they will fall in front of you. That family that rejected you, because God is for you, they will come back to you begging you. 
looking for how to survive. You become the source of that survival. Who can be against you? Is it the sickness that looks like it's going to take you? The cancer has gotten to the worst stage and everybody has written you off and they have told you you have two days to go. You have even ten minutes to go, but God has made you hear this message. That cancer cannot be against you. That sickness cannot be against you. Whatever it is, it's not against you. Who can be against you? If God be for us, who can be against us? Not one thing. Not the conclusion that has been made in the office. And you must be brought down. And everybody has agreed to bring you down. And you, all they are waiting for is for you to step in. And you are being called, come inside. As you are going in, God speaks for you. And because God is for you, that verdict is going to change right there in front of you. Even the one that the letter has been written, given to you, and you are sacked, and you are home hearing this word, nothing cannot be against you. It will turn out in your favor. God has a way of reversing things. When he says who can be against us, it means that no matter what it is done, sealed, signed, forgotten, it will reverse. Lazarus died buried, rotten in the grave four days. But grave, the rottenness, everything, nothing could be against him. Lazarus came forth. You will come forth like Lazarus if you have to. If Lazarus was dead on the surface, we'd say, okay, Jesus raised the dead. But as the sisters had confessed and as everybody knew, he had been rotten in the grave. Four days. Smelling and rotten. But was it against him? No way. God, who was for him, brought him forth. That God who is for you will bring you forth. You are in prison hearing this word. And your heart is loyal towards God. You will see how you will be brought out of that prison. The physical prison and the prison of life, the spiritual prisons of life, whatever they are, nothing can be against you. Father, your children, the one that calls upon you now in truth, whatever the situation was, no matter how far gone it is, the conclusions have been made, everything is signed, sealed, delivered, forgotten. Even the ones that have existed for years, none can be against them. From this moment, the reverse comes forth. Comes forth by you. And you have victory. You have redemption. You have triumphing now in God. You are victorious. Celebrate, for the Lord has set you free. Everything is for you. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen.